Bert Payton's par side without six first team regulars and the makeshift side fell behind in only the seventh minute. Robbie Winters knocking in his tenth goal of the season. Andy McLaren with the corner, it's headed down by Stephen Presley and Winters at full stretch to finish. Dunfermline played trialist Sergio Duarte in their defence. He showed he can attack as well. Dijkstra saving well from the Brazilian. United though in command in this first 45. The par struggling as Winters cannoned his shot off the post. Marcus Goldmark saw his effort blocked on the line by Andy Todd. And as David Bingham clears, Davy Bowman hacks him down. A yellow card for the United veteran. That was to prove costly later, but the second goal coming up for United now. Andy McLaren's cross picking out Robbie Winters. And it's as easy as that, his second goal of the game. Dunfermline nil, Dundee United two. McLaren to the totally unmarked Winters, and it couldn't have been easier. Well, Tommy McLean's side looking at this point as though they were cruising to their first league win of the season and when Shell Olofsson headed down for Andy McLaren to score it seemed Infermlin needed a miracle 3-0 United tremendous power in the drive from McLaren and try as he might Westwater just couldn't tame it All changed now in the second half. Bert Payton's team coming out with the win behind them and they look like a different side. Andy Smith with the goal. East End Park's top marksman angling his header past Sieb Dijkstra. And that's another goal for the big striker. The comeback on now. Sergio Giotti's ball into the danger area wasn't dealt with by United's defence. Hamish French scoring against his old side. And Fermlin 2 and D United 3 at this point, the 24th minute of the second half. Great control there by French. With the parse tails now up and an act of folly by Dave Bowman helped give them a further lift. The late tackle on Ivo Den Beeman. The referee had no other option. Bowman had to walk. Dunfermline didn't take any time to capitalise on their one-man advantage. The equaliser came straight from the free kick. A speculative header and David Bingham with the finish. Dramatic stuff at East End Park. A packed United defence, but Bingham found that chink in the armour. The Fifers could have topped the comeback of the year by snatching a late winner. Jerry Britton almost scored. 3-3 it finished. And that's how things stand in the Bells Premier Division. Hearts still out in front, a point ahead of Rangers, who have a game in hand. Celtic are third, just three points off the lead, having also played a game less. At the foot, Aberdeen's problems continue with just three points from their opening eight matches.